Welcome to an overview of the reconstruction investigation. In this investigation, you're trying to figure out how to respond to the question, was reconstruction mostly a story of triumph or tragedy for African Americans? Today, as you begin learning about reconstruction, instead of memorizing names and dates from a textbook, which is really hard and not particularly interesting, you will instead read and hear several different perspectives. You'll discuss with your classmates and then make your own decision about what it all means. Read and choir write lessons are called investigations. Throughout each investigation, you're looking for evidence to figure out how to respond to a central question. You'll notice that our investigations never say answer a central question. Instead, you'll hear us ask you to respond to a central question. That's because we believe there is not one right answer. There could be multiple answers. So we want you to respond to the question with evidence. Read and choir right investigations support you in building a case for your argument using evidence and reasoning. Over time, this kind of work will strengthen your reading, writing, critical thinking, and problem solving skills. In this investigation, you're trying to respond to the central question, was Reconstruction mostly a story of triumph or tragedy for African Americans? What was Reconstruction? Reconstruction refers to the time period immediately after the American Civil War, from 1865 to 1877. During this time, Congress rewrote our laws to guarantee basic rights to freed African Americans. These included rights like the right to citizenship, the right to vote, the right to run for office, and the right to equal protection under law. Before Reconstruction, African Americans did not have these rights. But, even though there were many significant and lasting achievements during Reconstruction, people had different opinions about whether Reconstruction was mostly a triumph or a tragedy. People have different opinions because the Jim Crow era immediately followed Reconstruction. The Jim Crow era introduced many laws which legalized racial segregation. So how should we remember the Reconstruction period as a triumph or tragedy? In Washington, D.C., the new National Museum of African American History and Culture opened in 2016. The museum has a section on Reconstruction, and they now want to expand the section. Your task is to take a position on the question of whether Reconstruction was mostly a triumph or a tragedy for African Americans. Respond to someone who has a different point of view, and prepare a written argument to send to the museum. In this investigation, you will write a counter-argument. In this type of argument, the writer takes a strong position in response to a question or problem, providing evidence and reasoning to back up the claim. Then the writer introduces a different point of view, also known as a counter-argument, and critiques it. In other words, the writer shows why the counter-argument is weak. Our investigation will guide you step-by-step step in developing your counter-argument. Let's review those steps now. First, you'll begin by making connections and building background. You'll learn more information about how these two different perspectives regarding the Reconstruction period developed. Next, your teacher will provide you with different sources to read about Reconstruction. You'll use these sources to determine whether you believe Reconstruction was mostly a tragedy or a triumph. To help you read these sources, your teacher will provide you with this bookmark. The bookmark tool will help you understand, analyze, and evaluate sources about Reconstruction. The bookmark prompts you to make annotations or detailed notes about the sources. You'll do this as you read and after you read. For example, here you can see that a student has boxed important information about the freedmen discussed in this source. The student also made notes about what those boxes mean. 
You will do the same on your sources and the bookmark tool will guide you. Making these annotations is really important because they will help you remember key ideas in the sources. This way, you don't have to try to remember everything or have to reread everything later. Instead, these annotations will make it easier to remember important information regarding the Reconstruction period. In step three, you will weigh the evidence presented in the sources about Reconstruction. You will begin by sorting the sources based on your understanding. Then you will construct and discuss the arguments based on what you have learned from these sources. In step four, you will read and analyze a mentor text, similar to the type of counterargument you will write about Reconstruction. A mentor text is a sample of writing that shows you one way to organize and write a counterpoint style argument. It includes important parts such as counterclaim, counter evidence, and reasoning to critique the counter argument. It's a good example of the way you can structure your own response about Reconstruction. Just remember that the mentor text is not exactly what you'll write, and it is not a source. The mentor text is one example of what your essay might look like. Next, you'll use the planning graphic organizer. The graphic organizer is like a roadmap for your essay. It helps you organize your ideas about which sources are most reliable for learning about reconstruction and it will prompt you to give evidence and reasoning, as well as a counterclaim, counter evidence, and critique of the counter argument. You will use all of the work you've done so far to help you develop this roadmap. You'll look at your annotated sources, and you'll determine which argument you think is strongest, and then make decisions to plan the essay you'll write. Then in step six, you're ready to write your letter and respond to the central question, was Reconstruction mostly a story of triumph or tragedy for African Americans? Be sure to use the sources you have read to write your response and choose the strongest argument. We know it's sometimes difficult to start writing. That's why we also include a useful language tool. You can look at this tool to choose from examples of how to start your claim, evidence, and reasoning, as well as language to introduce your counterclaim, counter evidence, and reason to critique the counter argument. Finally, after you have spent some time writing, pause to use the reflection tool. The reflection tool will help you review what you have written so far and set goals for your next steps. The reflection tool reminds you about what to include in your argument. Let's review quickly the seven steps you'll take throughout this investigation. First, build background. Second, read and analyze sources using the bookmark tool. Third, weigh the evidence. Fourth, analyze the mentor text. Fifth, complete the planning graphic organizer, deciding on the argument you will make. Sixth, use the useful language tool as you draft your essay. And seventh, Review and improve your essay using the reflection tool. As you work through the investigation, make sure to talk with your classmates and others who can support you as you learn about and respond to the central question, was Reconstruction mostly a story of triumph or tragedy for African Americans? Good luck.